What's up guys, my name is Clay Ratterman and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a personal website using Notion and publish it to the web and add your own custom domain names. So in order to do this, I'm gonna jump in here to Notion and get started showing you guys how to create this. So first and foremost, we're going to be using Super, which is the tool online that actually connects your personal domain names to your Notion pages, which is awesome. It's very simple to use. Uh, but first, before we dive into that, I'm gonna show you guys my current little template for a design uh, of a personal website. And big shout out to this guy. His name is Ben something on Instagram. I don't know him personally but I am stealing a lot of his design layout because he had an awesome one when I saw his own personal Notion page. So a lot of this came from him, but I'm gonna show you guys how to actually create this um, so you can do it for yourself. So first and foremost, it is gonna be a personal website for me. So I like to put a little picture of myself and then whatever your domain name is, I recommend you just put it right here so people can see it. Um, and then I put a little tagline right here, this thing on the side. So this is just a, a header section and these are just actually words that I linked to different sections of the page. So this is a really cool feature in Notion. Uh, if you highlight right here, you can just link a word to something. So if you see, if I click content communities here at the top, it'll drop me and I linked this specific divider to that block. So it'll pull the page down right to this area where it says content communities. Um, so that's really neat. Uh, I recommend everyone puts that at the top. It's the same thing at, on a normal website as having you know your hyperlinks at the top that go to different pages. But it's cool that you can do that same thing and you can keep it all on one page if you want. So I have a little call out here of just the project that I'm currently working on. But the main sections that I have for this little personal website layout is I have services. So these are things I'm currently offering. They link to different landing pages. And then I have my resources. These are templates that I have and things that are gonna help people out that are free. Um, then I have my content and communities. This is like where I link to my YouTube channel, my podcast. Um, I'm gonna have blog posts that I put up on here and my newsletter and all that stuff. Uh, again, the great part about having Notion as your website is creating pages is so easy and creating new content is so easy and frictionless. And the nice part is you can literally click share right here and then just instantly publish it to the web. So I can just, you know, create a new blog post, publish it to the web and share the link immediately. So that's super nice. The options when you go to publish it to the web look like this. I recommend definitely don't have allow editing on if it's going to be your own personal website. Um, I wouldn't even allow comments if it's just a website either. Allow duplicate as template, probably not necessary either unless you want people to be able to duplicate the template of your website. Um, and then lastly, search in engine indexing, I would have this turned on because again, you are publishing it to the web and you wanna have good SEO for it. So that's basically it. That's how you share and publish it to the web. The last little features I would touch on for my personal website here, Obviously, these are all just links to different pages and links to different content areas and profiles of mine. Um, I did embed a little type form for a newsletter so people can subscribe here very easily. And then here at the bottom, I have a little call out section that has my email. If you click this, it'll instantly pull up an email to send me. Um, and I have my social profiles here. So that's pretty much it in terms of the website. It's very simple and very easy to use. I can create more pages within this that will be also shared to the web. So just so you guys know, any page you create inside of a page that's shared to the web, it's also going to be public. So this one, for example, college football walk on trial guide. If I click on this one, it also automatically takes on the same rules as the parent page, which is the, the page before this. So if you do wanna have a page, like for example, that's private, that's on your website, it's not gonna show up to people. So if I turn this off and I say that I don't want people to be able to see this specific page, and then I tried to view this, this page as an outside user, meaning I pulled up an incognito tab, for example, that page just wouldn't even show up right here. So again, these every page that's nested within this has to be also shared to the public for it to show up to, to random viewers on the internet. So hopefully that makes sense. I'll show you kind of what this looks like real quick. So if I pulled up my website, as you can see, it says clayratterman.com here. So this is what it looks like if somebody is viewing my website as a totally anonymous or random person on the web. It would actually show up as clayratterman.com. I'd have this little header thing up here. But I wanted to show you the difference because here when I'm logged into Notion, it's showing up as just my regular Notion. Notion page, it has notion.so, dash my name and all this stuff. But when I actually go to type it in as an anonymous person who's not logged into my workspace, it will actually show up as clayratterman.com and it'll pop up there. So if you guys want to add a custom domain to a specific Notion page, 
It's very easy. Basically, wherever you're hosting your domain name, whether it's Google or GoDaddy or, or any of those different domain name services, you just have to find wherever you're hosting it. You'll go to this website called Super. You'll sign up. I believe it's $12 a month per website. So right here is an example. I was testing some different things. You have two options. You have Super Static and you have Super Default. Uh, basically, the difference between the two, from my understanding, is Super Static allows you get, get to actually have pretty URLs within pages. So an example of that would be if I go to this website right here and I scroll down and I click on eight week workout plan, I can change these. It, it's going to come up with clairadderman.com and then it's going to just come up with this long notion, notion drawn out uh, web page right here. But I can actually change that to be, to basically say whatever I want at the tail end. So that's a nice feature of having the, the super static. The only problem is it's not yet compatible with calendar and timeline views. And from what I've seen, it definitely jumbles up some of your uh, some of your websites. Like some of the features in Notion, like it, it says right here, it's not compatible with calendar and timeline views. But I've had situations where I've tried like different database views um, or gallery views, and the cards are all messed up. There are some hiccups with this, but the nice part is it does have better SEO. And again, you can actually set up pretty URLs, which are basically allowing you to uh, to come up with different slugs at the end of your URL. So. In order to set this up though, you can choose super static or you can choose super default, which default means that these are just generated by Notion. You are not gonna be able to create pretty URLs, but outside of that, it's basically the same thing and uh, it's gonna work perfectly with Notion and there's not any of those hiccups. So if you wanna have pretty URLs, you go with this one. If you are okay with uh, not having the pretty URLs at the end, I would honestly right now recommend this one as long as you don't care about the SEO, just because you'll be able to do more stuff with it. Hopefully that takes care of that. But anyway, to set it up, you literally just go in here and you click site settings, you put just put whatever name you want in here, but then you put the actual custom domain that you're gonna be using. So I use clayratterman.com and then I go back to Notion. I copy the, the page that I want to, uh, to put here uh, that I wanna mask with this custom domain. I drop it into here, I click save, and then it brings you to this area, which says DNS records. So you just click basically any one of these, whichever one you use, Use. Let's just click other. Um, and it's going to give you these two record types to go add to your DNS settings. So again, super easy. I, if you're confused about domain name stuff, you literally just go to wherever you're hosting your website. You scroll down to DNS settings, which is your, your name server stuff. Go to custom records, and then you add in the records that say these things. So you literally just copy and paste these and add these two records into here. And then you click continue. You can upload your little fave icon, which is the little icon here at the top left of the screen that you guys are seeing. Um, you can upload a photo for when you're sharing it. Like, hey, this is what it's gonna look like as a preview of your website. Change the fonts. You could add scripts in if you wanted to add like a Facebook tracking pixel for ads that you were gonna run to that page. So it's really cool. You can pretty much put all of the main things that you would want to have on a website on here very, very simple and very easily, which is awesome. Um, you want to have search engine indexing enabled. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. You go in here, you click these buttons and you should be good to go. Hopefully this video has helped you guys understand how to go in and actually do this. Um, again, once it's set up, it's gonna take us to playratterman.com. It's gonna show the page and then boom, I have a custom website built with Notion um, and I can start adding content to it and I can make really quick instant edits and the simplicity of it is what's so awesome. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button. I'm gonna be doing a lot more series on Notion here coming up. So if you like these videos or you want more tools and tips and tricks on Notion, definitely stay tuned and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.